Okay, I have to turn it around. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, hi everyone. Just um, another quick video the Lord has just taught me again. And um, so there's a lot of people out there who say that you just, just have to believe. And I say just because their belief is a different belief to uh, the real Christians believe, okay? So they, these fake Christians, they say, oh, you just have to believe in uh, Jesus Christ and that he died for us. So you're covered with his blood then, you know, his blood covers you and the wrath of God um, won't um, affect you basically. But um, they don't understand that. And that's what the Lord just told me now. They don't understand that the blood of Jesus is actually the Holy Spirit. So because um, when we're born again, we're no longer under the law, you see. Because in Galatians 5, um, you can check that out. Near the end, it talks about um, that the fruit of the Spirit is love and um, um, com um, self-control and, and so on, you know. Um, holiness and um, and all these different things so basically it's a holiness and um, when you are filled with the Spirit of God and you bear the fruits of the Spirit which is holiness basically and um, which means you are no longer under any law because you are holy um, because he who's in you is holy and that's Jesus Christ God himself so when God dwells in you you are holy um, that means you're no longer under any law. That does not mean that the law has been done away with. The law is still there. But the law is for the lawless. The law was given for the lawless. And the lawless will be judged by the law as well. Um, so, when you are born again, you are uh, filled with the Holy Spirit. And you're no longer under the law. Which means you're no longer under the wrath of God either. Because... Um, that's why the Holy Spirit seals us for the kingdom of God. And uh, we're covered by the blood of Jesus Christ, which is the spiritual, which is his spirit in us. Um, so for anyone out there who thinks that you just have to believe uh, that Jesus Christ, in Jesus Christ, you know, or that he died on the cross, it, it's, it's not just that, okay, um, in the kind of minds. I mean, a lot of people think uh, believe in Jesus, you know, a lot of people believe. Um, but um, you actually have to be born again and um, have to be reconciled to God in the spirit. So you're sealed to his kingdom and so that the wrath of God doesn't any uh, um, doesn't abide on you uh, on you anymore. So that's just something quickly I wanted to share with you because oops because that's what the Lord just showed me and um, was there anything else because he literally just showed it to me now and I thought I'd quickly share it before I have a shower or not after again um, so yeah so when you're holy when you're born again you're holy every day okay and that means um, that you don't sin because uh, that doesn't mean that you can't sin anymore, okay? Because you can go against what the Holy Spirit convicts you of. That's another subject. But, um, yeah, so when God dwells in you, you are holy every day and um, you are no longer under any law. Um, the law is only for the lawless. And... Um, And that's what covers you on the day of judgment, okay? That's the that's the blood of Jesus. So you need to be born again. Don't just think that you can say to yourself, Oh yeah, I believe Jesus Christ died for me and just keep on sinning, keep on doing what you're doing of the world, you know, not self sacrifice not sacrificing yourself. Because remember God is sacrifice. Um, self-sacrifice and um, that's what he did for us he sacrificed himself so we could live and he expects the same from you and me that we sacrifice ourselves um, for him you know so we have to put away the old woman or old man our old way of living <clears throat> and actually 
turn from our self-seeking ways. That's what the Lord told me. It's um, sin is um, anything to do that um, is self-seeking. Yeah, if you um, if you rather do something for yourself than for someone else. So you have to put these things away. And in the flesh, this might sound, sound silly to you. It might even sound impossible to you. But that's why God says anything is possible with God. And um, that's why you have to actually be born again. Um, because he will dwell in you and he will keep you holy. You by yourself cannot do that. Me by myself, I would be back doing the desires of my flesh in a shot. Okay? In a second. It is all to God's glory. That's why we are not, you know, the, the saints, the children of God. We are not proud and we're being called proud, but we're being called proud by sinners. You know, they call us proud. No, no, we're not proud because we don't boast in ourselves. We boast in Christ in us. And, but the Antichrist spirit hates that. The Antichrist spirit hates people boasting about Christ in us. And that's um, why God tells us to discern the spirits um, and to, because it's either Antichrist spirit or you're for, you're for Christ or you're against him. And the Antichrist spirit denies that God is in the flesh, come in the flesh. And that he's come in the flesh again in his children now. So, <coughs> so be born again. The devil has many, many different denominations out there to get people away from the fact that you have to be born again and sealed for his kingdom, covered in his spiritual blood, um, so that the wrath of God, so that you're holy, so that the wrath of God no longer abides in you, and you're no longer under the law. Okay, that's what that means. And on that note... I have to go. Okay, be blessed everyone and I'll see you tomorrow, God willing. Bye-bye.